Hi everybody, it's Tim here and welcome back to ESC Extra. Today we are going to react to another Eurovision 2021 entry. Last night in Norway's Melody Grand Prix, Tix was selected. But during Melody Grand Prix, he sang Ut av Morket. But he will be representing Norway in Rotterdam with the song Fallen Angel, which is basically the English version. So let's see what the difference is and let's get on with it. I mean, you know, he kept the same staging, obviously. You know what, I'm just gonna say this, that, um, if you'd have told me that this is a staging from Fire Saga, I would actually believe you. But I will say this, comparing Utav Morkit to Fallen Angel, I think they took the key down a bit, and they made some sort of changes, because... As a fan, obviously, I can hear, like, there's a big change from Utah Morgan to this. But I will say this, though. You know, I think with the song in English, you know, the angel outfit along with the staging kind of makes much more sense. And I really like the fact that, you know, the changes within, like, the lyrics kind of helps you have more of an for it more for it to become an have a hook basically like when he could like I'm a I'm a angel so like kind of thing I mean it's still impactful than Utah Morkit but I'm just gonna say this personally for me um I don't know what it is, but I love the song. There's just something underwhelming, and I don't know why. <laughs> I mean, I love the staging. It's very out there, and he makes most of the stage. And that was the end of Fallen Angel. I mean, what can I say? Other than the fact that there's something missing. I don't know what it is. Maybe it's just because Tix decided to sing in English and maybe the song lost most of its spark. But that's just me as a Eurovision fan. But bearing in mind that most of the people will only hear the song for the first time, either in the semi-final or the grand final. So, you know, um, it could still be impactful to those viewers. But for me... If it were up to me, i just say, Tix, please send a Norwegian version. <laughs> but, you know, obviously they're going to record the live on tape performance soon. So let's see what they choose. But these are my opinions on Fallen Angel. Let's see what the other ESC Extra members think. Let's go. I'm so happy that Tix won. I mean, I love the Norwegian version. I still have to get used to the English version, but I think it's equally... Great. Um, the performance is so over the top, I love it. It's more is more. And Tix might have his own style. Um, but he's writing his own music and he's producing his own music. He's so talented. I'm so thankful for MGP to introduce me to so many amazing artists this year. And Tix and also other artists, I will follow their careers for the next years. And I'm so excited for that. And well, best of luck in Rotterdam. I have rather mixed feelings about this entry because, um, first of all, I love uh, his voice. I love the song. Um, it's really enjoyable. It's really radio friendly. I could hear it even on Belgian radio after Eurovision. Who knows? But um, I prefer the Norwegian version because the song is rather safe and Nor the Norwegian language will make it a bit more interesting. I don't know how people will react to the staging. I don't know, I have my doubts on this, but yeah, it's still good. I must say I was quite disappointed when Tix decided to change his song from Norwegian to English. Uh, then again, Fallen Angel is a, a really good version of the song and I think it's a good translation. I just hope that people understand the stage performance and understand what 
he's doing if they keep it the same for your vision they expect they will um vocally it's on point and i totally understand why this one melody can't be so yeah it's a thumbs up for me norway well that was our reaction to tix's fallen angel thank you very much for watching if you like what you saw then please press the like and subscribe button don't forget to push the notification bell to be one of the first people to find out when we got a new video also, don't forget to follow us at ESC Extra on Facebook, Instagram, Twitter, and TikTok. But for now, tease and talk, and we'll see you soon.